Hi, I'm Mandy, product engineer at Black Wolf, and today I want to tell you a little bit about our Turbo Light and Turbo Series tents. I've got here a Turbo Light um, 240. It's a new model for the 14-15 season, and the features on this tent are exactly the same as the features on our Turbo models, um, which are in the canvas fabric. So that's, that's the key difference between the two tents. Actually, stay tuned after this section of the video about the features, and I'll give you a demonstration about how to pitch your Turbo tent. So the key difference between the turbo and the turbo light tents is the fabric. The turbo light tents are, have a 150 denier polyester for the fly and the tent fabric and a 500 denier um, floor, polyester floor. Whereas the turbo series tents have a poly cotton canvas um, fly and tent fabric and then a really tough PVC um, floor fabric. So the main reason you would choose one over another, the, the canvas ones are going to last longer and they're going to be more durable. So if you're a re really regular camper and you're going to use your tent a lot, go on a long touring trip, that type of thing, then the canvas is a good choice. If you're just looking for a, um, a, a very good quality tent to use frequently, um, the Turbo Light tents are also a good option. They, they're still going to last a long time. The, the 150 denier polyester is around double the weight of what you would get in, an, in a regular dome tent. So they're both durable tents, just personal preference really which way you'd like to go. So all of our tents now have the um, three pole awning here and there's a whole range of accessories that you can, that you can fit to this awning. Um, so if you're interested in those head over to the turbo accessory sections on the website and look for the video about those. Um, so the tent itself, there's three sizes, 210, 240, 300 and that basically relates to the size of the, of the tent area. The awnings are the same length, um, but obviously the, 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 they vary in the width depending on the size of the tent. So the 210 is, is um, 2.1 metres square in the main tent area, Two, 240 is 2.4 metres square, and the 300 is, is 3 metres square. So three different sizes. So uh, the, all the tents have this gusseted window. So you can see I've got it pitched out here in its um, weatherproof kind of format. So with the turbos, they're all a single skin tent, so it is important to make sure you've got lots of ventilation to, to minimise your condensation inside your tent. So these gusseted windows allow you to have the, the window open for good ventilation no matter what the weather. Um, so the, the small guy ropes come with your tent, they're in the peg bag, you just tie them onto the eyelets in the corner, you can peg that out. I've also got the guy ropes pegged out two different ways, it's always important to use your guy ropes on your tent. So here I've got the two guy ropes going to a single peg point. This is good in, in um, just moderate kind of conditions or if you're not expecting bad weather. And then the, the guy ropes at the back here, you can see I've got them pitched out to two separate points. So if you're expecting bad weather, it's a good way to go to, to really make the, the tent the strongest that it can be to go with the two, the two peg point options. So with your windows, you've also got a couple of different positions you can use those in. So obviously you can fully close them. You've got two zippers here. If it's really uh, really cold or, or, the, or the wind's really blowing from the direction of the window, you, you might choose to, uh, to fully close them up. And you've got a Velcro there in the middle to secure it. And then if it's a warm night, you're not expecting any, any rain, the maximum ventilation, you've got some toggles. So you can open the, open the windows right up. Oh, I haven't been very tidy with those guy ropes. So that's a quick look at the outside of the tent. Um, come on inside and we'll have a look there. So for the 14-15 season, we've changed the door on all the, all the turbo models to this new D-shaped door. So it just has a single, it's got two sliders, but a single, uh, single zip going all the way around. We've got a... Uh, a no see a mesh door on the light series. On the canvas series, you do have a heavier weight fiberglass mesh for the doors and windows. And then those, those doors have some toggles. You can just wind those back to, to put them out of the way. Inside the tent, the floor is just a simple square shape. You've got some small pockets over on the sides. And then you've got your nice big windows on the side. We've got this one open and this one closed. And then in the roof, you've got some vents that you can open or close. And then in the very top there you can see your handle for um, popping the tent up and down. And there's a, there's a little hook on there for a lantern. 
Okay, now just let's have a run through of how to pitch your turbo or turbo light tent. So first of all, we're going to open the bag and grab everything out. That's the, uh, the fly all folded up. Now you've got a bag of pegs and now the tent itself. Now the tent is attached to its frame already. So this is the tent and the frame um, connected together. So just carry that out to the spot that you've chosen for your tent site. Unclip the strap that goes around the middle. That kind of just holds it hold it neatly for, um, for packing. Then unwind the tent. There's another clip around the top. And that clip is above the, above the door at the front. So at this stage, you just want to organize where the, um, where the door is, get the tent around the right way. Then the, unhook the webbing off the knuckles and then just pull those lower legs into place. The, just unfold the leg and the leg will clip into position. Now you can see I've sort of chosen my site here so that it's in the camera shot, so I'm just getting it, getting my tent in exactly the position that I want. So you see, you un un take, unclip the webbing off the pole, and then just straighten those legs and the knuckle will, will clip into place. So the next step is to peg the, um, peg the tent out. So I'm just going to grab my four pegs out of the peg bag here to peg the corners. Just going to speed up a little bit here so you're not waiting all day for me to peg, hammer these pegs in. Okay, once we've got the tent pegged out, next step is going to be to pop up the frame. So open the door up, just step inside, then get your hands underneath the um, the hub and then just push it up and it will pop into place. Next I'm going to get the awning poles and the awning ridge pole organized. So this is the awning ridge pole, it comes in two parts, just has a little button clip to clip them to, to secure it together and then it has an extending part and there's a spigot on one end and a hole on the other. Now with the uh, side awning poles, I'm just going to get them about the same height as the um, as the upper as the upper knuckles. So getting my two awning poles there about the same length, and then putting them roughly where I think they will need to be. And this one here, the two section pole awning pole, is the is the center one. And I usually sort of estimate that it is about, about the height of the of the hub. So next we'll unfold the uh, the fly, pop it over the tent. We'll figure out which way it is. This is obviously a much easier exercise with two people. It certainly can be done by one, but it, as you can see, it's a little bit fiddly just to get it to stay over the tent. So if you've got someone there to help you, it's going to be a whole lot easier. Now just clip the uh, clip the corners of the fly down to the to the feet of the turbo frame, so it just clips into the side release buckle, and then as you go around, you can just get some tension on those on those to secure the fly, but you'll perhaps retention it later. Okay, so now I'm just going to get all the awning guy ropes out of their pockets, ready to go, and then the ridge pole has a little right angled spigot on the end and that is going to um, go into a small hole at the front of the hub. Then the other end goes through the, the hole in the front of the awning, the eyelet there, and you can see I'm just measuring it out and, and, and tightening up the, uh, the collar on the, um, on the awning, on the ridge pole, just to get it in the right place. Got my awning pole a little bit too far away there. Okay, so now the awning pole Center awning pole just goes up through the hole in the ridge pole and then through the eyelet on the awning of the tent. And then I'm just ready to peg out my front guy rope. As you can see, once you kind of get to that point, the awning will stand up by itself, so it makes it fairly easy to, uh, to do it with one person as you then guy out the, the side awning poles. 
So just picking those out. You can see those side awning poles. I'm picking them out at kind of right at 45 degrees out from the corner of the awning. Now just fiddling around, adjusting the tension on those guy ropes, getting the uh, awning pole standing up nice and straight. And a couple of things to do at the end. One is to Velcro the fly onto the turbo frame. So you've got those all, all the way around each part of the frame. Then the last thing to do is to just peg out your guy ropes, as I mentioned earlier in the video, and you can peg out your um, gusseted windows also. So there you go, your tent's pitched. Okay, so our fun weekend of camping's over. It's time to pack up. So first, we, first thing we're going to do is to pack up all the guy ropes, pop them back into the little fin pockets. The fin pockets, obviously, they make, they make everything really tidy so that when you uh, get your tent out next time, there's not a whole pile of um, tangle of string to deal with. So the, uh, take, the, take the awning poles down, roll up all those guy rope, guy ropes and pop them in the fin pockets. Dismantle our ridge pole, collapse down the awning poles, unclip the fly from the corners. Oh, don't forget the Velcros. Undo the Velcros on the turbo frame. Oh, looks like I've still got one more. Okay, bring the fly off, give it a bit of a neat fold up. Doesn't need to be super tiny, just, just pack it up to the size of the, around the size of the bag. Okay, so now we're going to get into the bit which packing up a turbo tent is a little different from packing up other tents. So we go, go inside, grab the handle in the center, and pull it down. Make sure you hold your hand over your head to just catch those poles as you, as you pull those down. Next thing we're going to do is to release the lower knuckles. So basically it's just a matter of pressing the button and letting that leg fold up again. So we'll go around and pull out the pegs in the corners while we're collapsing those knuckles. And then we'll just pop, them, pop those pegs back in their bag. Keep everything nice and tidy. Okay, so the next step is to fold up the legs. And fold each leg up and then thread the webbing back over the upper knuckle. And the tent will kind of stand up by itself there as you go around. Some noisy birds up there in the, in the trees. Okay, so now we're going to put the last one on. And now you're just going to grab all four of those knuckles. Give the feet a bit of a brush off if you've got a bit of dirt on there. Now grab that strap which is above the uh, above one side of the door. Wrap it around the wrap it around the uh, bundle of of legs. Do that strap up. Now the next thing we're going to do is lay the tent down and organize the, the folds of the tent into kind of triangular shapes. So we're going to organize those into kind of nice neat triangles. If you do a bit of, bit of spend a bit of time organizing that now, it makes it much easier to roll up. You pull the floor out from the bottom, try and get all that folded tent as flat as possible. Fold that bottom part up so that it's level with the base of the of the knuckle bundle, pole bundle, and then just give it a roll up. And then you want to have your strap handy. Got my stuck in a stuck in my uh, belt loop there. So then we're just going to get that strap. I usually just lay it on the ground there and then lift the bundle onto it. Clip that strap up. Tighten it up. And then you're all set to, uh, to put everything back in the bag. So it's good to start with the tent because it's kind of the bulkiest bulkiest part. Pop the tent in there. Pegs, warning poles, and the fly sheet. Now we're all packed up, ready to throw the tent back in the car. 
So that's how easy it is to pack up your turbo tent. So thanks for watching. For more information about Black Wolf turbo tents and accessories, visit the Black Wolf website.